Wojciech Przybylski, head of Krakow Technology Park. Uh, it's the first of April, April Fool's Day, they call it. They call it that way, but we'll try to be absolutely serious today. We will. What, what's been happening here today in connection with air quality in Krakow? Can you tell us? Uh, we conducted a living lab, so a special kind of workshop, a workshop meeting, uh, to find new ideas for fighting with uh, smog, so with for fighting with air pollution in Krakow and the whole region, which is in fact even more important now. Krakow is known to be the single most active city in Poland when it comes to battling sm smog, both in terms of social activism and also in, in terms of specific campaigning. Uh, after the past, say, five years when the city has been most active, what would be your assessment against your personal expectations on a scale of zero to ten? In other words, are you satisfied already with what is happening or do you think there is a lot to cover? I wanted to say a strong two, as many young people say now, uh, but it's not the first day. I would say seriously a strong four, maybe even strong five would be appropriate. That means we started the way and we are like going forward and looking at the city itself, uh, I'm quite satisfied at least with the part of this campaign which is uh, concerns uh, like the heating in houses and public uh, buildings, yeah? I'm not really happy with what's happening around like public transportations and all mobility aspects in the city as well. But then looking at the region, I think that we have still a much longer way to go. Uh, Wojtek, technically we could say uh, your office is on the very outskirts of the city and all you can see through the window is lots and lots of beautiful greenery, so maybe you're biased in that way. <laughs> I can see it now, but honestly we have like an unofficial system of seeing how tough is the situation with smog right now because we have like specific points in this area that you cannot see if the air quality is worse and worse. Yeah? So we can see now everything very nicely, but usually in many cases, in the winter, we can't see nothing. For the so I'm, I'm sure all those office buildings uh, right next door, newly built, all of those CEOs right there must be envious about your view from the office, aren't they? Uh, I'm not that <laughs> sure, and unfortunately I will uh, not maintain this view because we will have new office buildings constructed on the other really, side. Really? On the other side? Exactly. The okay, way. but yeah. back to our topic. Uh, the last five years have been really special when it comes to fighting with this challenge. If I were to ask you about three things that have been really successful and three things that you find personally really annoying, they should have been done by now. Okay. The first positive thing is we started uh, and the general issue came into the very important political agenda. Yeah? Not only in the city, it also started in the region and for sure like uh, all these um, efforts of, uh, I won't use the names, but of the NGOs which are fighting with smoke uh, are an absolute positive of this time. Then we had a, re a reaction of the, let's say, city hall in Krakow, specifically mainly in the area of uh, heating. And I'm happy with this reaction because the city invested hundreds of millions of zloty in changing uh, the way the people heat and fighting with coal heating in the city and it's the second positive and uh, the third positive would be uh, all the actions from last two or three years that happened uh, on the national agenda namely like the standards of coal itself the standards of uh, coal heating devices which are now only for this like uh, uh, least uh, smoking devices yeah so I think also at the national regulatory level we had some positives. Now for the negatives, and for or the should negatives, I stop the tape? No, no, you shouldn't stop. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm afraid there are even more negatives, but okay, I'll try to do it. The biggest uh, ones. Even though the, we managed to bring this topic on, on the agenda, it's still a very city-oriented topic and a very elitarian oriented topic yeah let's say so it's something most of my friends and colleagues who live in Krakow and work in Krakow are uh, very aware of this problem and uh, are also engaged in this problem but in fact we had at least one third maybe half of the inhabitants of the Małpolska region that do not know about the problem or are not ready to do anything to fight it yeah so, we, so awareness is still a challenge the awareness is a challenge and we uh, we didn't manage to make this problem a fully democratic problem although it affects all of us not only people who live in the city of Krakow but all the people in the interior in Małopolska 
in the region. Yeah? Number two? Number two would be like uh, what happened in this whole, uh, not only narration, but also public policy uh, is we split uh, the lack of uh, heating and coal from the lack of mobility and public and other sustainable transportation. Yeah? And uh, most of the people, if they think about smog and air quality, they mainly think about coal. They do not think about the way they travel every day. And the absolute goal for all of us is to lower the number of private car uh, journeys every day. Yeah, right. so and it's, it's something we need to like tackle with everybody of us. Yeah? yeah, and it won't be easy. So classic instance of diluted responsibility. Everyone thinks it's someone else doing it. Yeah, and and Number three. Uh, uh, and the three would be uh, I'm not entirely happy with the way like uh, this problem works. Uh, also in, on institutional level between like the leaders, including big cities, and all the small communes around Krakow and in the region. So I think that many of these like smaller levels and or lower levels of uh, self-governance in Poland may feel a bit like pushed apart from the problem. And it's the very place we need to cope with this problem is somewhere I don't want to name the names again, but anyway, you have many places where the problem is bigger than in Krakow right now, and we need to talk with them like with partners. Yeah. On April Fool's Day, one wish list point. By the end of 2019, what would you very much like to happen and change? Yeah. I would like to have like, a, more or less a consensus on the new program of uh, air quality for Mao Polska that would be brave and would make the tough decisions, but at the same time would talk to everybody working on it. Yeah. Wojciech Przybylski, Head of Krakow Technology Park. Wojtek, it's been a great pleasure talking to you. Thank you. A pleasure. Thank you, guys. Cheers.